welcome to this channel i am krishna raghavendran and in this video we will learn how to make a card game so it's this is the part 1 of the card game so there is going to be three parts and this is the part 1 so now before we start making the game we need to know how it works so here let me show the demo so here you can see some cards so these cards if you flip them there will be many animals so here you need to type an animal name so i'm going to type cat and then you need to guess which card has the cat image so i think this card has my score didn't increase because this card has the dog so now let me click on this one no this is the lion this one this one so you can keep on trying until you get the cat so there is no cat and the game is over and my score is zero let me play again so now let me type the animal name lion here you can see i put lion and my score is 1 so let me do like this my score is 2 so the game is over as i have flipped all the cards and my score is 2 so now let's build our app so now let's start creating the memory game so this is part 1 so in this part 1 we are just going to do like the cards will be there the ui design okay so now let's start first i'm going to bring some buttons like this no no just one button is in enough then we can copy and paste the buttons yes so now this height is going to be 31% and width is going to be 31% now what i am going to do is that i am going to erase this text yes so now this is one card so now like that we are going to keep many cards so now we are going to we need a vertical arrangement so make sure that you have made it scrollable yes so now this width should be the same width as this one so this is this width is 31% so even this can be 31% and the height should be fill parent so now let's put this inside this one like this we are going to put three buttons so you can do control c control v to copy and paste it so now here we can see all our three cards so now this is on this this game is going to be there there is going to be nine cards So now what we are going to do is that we need an horizontal arrangement. So let's set this with to fill parent. So now we are going to put this vertical arrangement in which all the but three buttons are there into this one, this horizontal arrangement. Now what we are going to do is that let's copy and put it here. So here I have put nine buttons. So here you can see nine cards. So now what we should do is that rename these cards so that it will be easy for us to code in the blocks. So now this is going to be C one card, which means card one. This is going to be C two, which means card two. This is going to be C three. This is going to be C4. This one is going to be C5. So now you you should keep on do like that for all the buttons. Rename them. Now let me rename the last button C9. Yes. So now I finished for all the buttons and I renamed it. Make sure it is proper. C2, C3, C4, C5, C6. C seven, C eight, C nine. Yes. 
So now what we are going to do is that we will set this this image to I have a file an image so we are going to set all these cards image to that image which I told so for that we are going to do in the blocks so even this is to design so I said only we will design only we will do the designer in this video but we are also going to do a little bit of blocks to make the designer good so you can put the image here but i'm going to do it through the blocks so i have when screen one initialize i need a procedure called start so this start procedure is to start the game so in this start i'm going to put like set c1 dot image so here we have it image 2 the image is going to be the image which we are going to upload now so now let me upload an image so i'm going to upload file choose file and so here i have made many images of the cards so here you can see the back side of the card and these all are the front side of the card so now first let me put let me upload the back side of this card, this image. It takes some time to upload. So now here you can see the JPG image. It has been uploaded. So now what I'm going to do is that set C1, which is the button, dot image to that jpg image so here the name of the image is card.jpg so now let me put it here yes so now what we need to do is that copy and paste this for all the nine buttons Let's put everything inside. Now let's change the text. Not the text, I mean this one, the button name. C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, and C9. So now we have set this image. And when the screen is initializing, we are going to call the start procedure. So now we have finished the design. We have set the image when the game is starting. So now let's see if it looks, the UI looks good in the mobile. There is one last thing we need to do before the, to test it. So let's put a label in between so that there'll be space between these two cards so now i'm going to change the text color to none so that it will not be visible but it will give a space so now let me do ctrl c and ctrl v and put it here then again ctrl v and put it here ctrl v i'm going to put it there and then ctrl c ctrl v here Control V here. So now here you can see it looks nicely arranged the cards. Now let's give some space between this. So here let's put I think no need of space between this because I looked in the mobile and it looks fine. So now set align horizontal and align vertical, align horizontal to center. And in this horizontal arrangement too, set center and center. Now let's see how our app looks in the mobile. Our app, the UI looks good and there's also a scroll bar if the cards cannot fit. 
and here you can see it looks nicely arranged and the pictures are there in all the cards so in the part 2 of the memory game we will do the flipping so if they click on the card it will show an image like a cat or a dog something like that so we will do that in part 2 so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share this video and don't forget to wa watch part 2 and part 3 of this memory game bye